And he says, follows, Yours, Lord, is the greatness and power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and to give strength to all. Now, our God, 
we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. A reading and hearing, First Chronicles, chapter 29, verses 11 to 13. May God bless and edify to our hearts the reading of his holy word. We come to the hour of prayer, praise and exaltation. We just want to take a moment to receive all prayer requests and praise reports that may be on your hearts at this time. I to give thanks and glory and honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you for waking me up this morning. I come asking for special prayer for um, my sister-in-law, Tanisha, and um, my nephews um, as they continue to complete the plans of the home for service of my brother. Lord, we just pray and just thank you for all the times that we have. We just ask that you would just govern us all, look after um, one of these other sister, Mary Ann, who is having some difficulties understanding and accepting what you have done, Lord. We just thank you. Continue to look after the 200 block of Ashley Street. The young lady, I don't know her name, um, that lives on the block. I, I was told on Friday morning um, that she is, has been missing since last Sunday. I haven't heard any new news, so we just pray that whatever's going on with that family, um, they're a part of our community here on Ashley Street. Well, I just pray that tonight, this evening, we will be able to come together as a family and just thank you for all the blessings that you have given to us. Um, just pray, Lord, that you will just continue to take care of our family and keep them strong doing the things that we need to do. All of my children, Lord, that they will be able to function and be able to carry on and believe and trust in your name. But all my uncles and aunts that are around in all the different areas, the ones that are dealing with medical serious issues. We just ask that you would bless them all and bless all their children and as they continue to take care of their parents that they would be able to um, do what needs to be done. Miss Gardenia, um, Williams, who I could affectionately call Miss Hill, uh, went through her first Thanksgiving. Um, it was pretty good, but Lord, we know that right now she is uh, still having some difficulties and I just pray that you keep the blessing lines around her. All my friends and family, those that I have not mentioned, that you know about all of them. But we're asking that you will continue to bless this church, those that are here, those that might be listening in. Lord, all those people that have touched us in so many different ways, and all the organizations, we just ask that you will continue to bless them and see how they can continue to help us to continue to grow. We're still asking for a blessing, Lord, for the, for the White House Committee Garden. And we just pray that uh, whatever your will is between now and the time it needs to be done, that you will see fit to provide the financial needs that we need to have. We have been asked to embark on a new adventure with um, Daffodil Home Care. And Lord, you know exactly what they're trying to say to us. Make it plain so that we'll be able to understand and make the decision that you would have us to make, not let us join into anything that is not of you. And we ask these in the name of the blessings, Lord, we know in your name. So I want to lift up all of my family members, those who are shutting in, those who are here, those who are dealing with the loss of their husband, father, those who are observing the first Thanksgiving without their beloved. You know all about them. Father, you know who they are. And we're going to lead out of you right now. Cousins up in McNick who have been having a tough go of things here recently. I ask your blessings upon them. We also have this up to the keep. We pray that all is well aware that she is. Bounce back from the 
Oh, so sit back with it. Air down for a little bit. We just certainly do all those things and so many more on the offer of this morning. Let us pray. Praise the Father, we just come once more again into your presence, Father. Humbly as we, we know how, Lord, in the precious name of the Son, Jesus the Christ. Just thank you, Lord, and praise you for allowing us to journey for another day. For watching over us throughout the night. Lord, just providing for our needs from your storehouse in glory. We just thank you, Father, for your amazing grace that has sustained us for throughout our journey throughout this life. We just thank you, Father, for what you've done. And certainly, go for what you want to do. We ask, Father, that you undergird the King family, the Brother family, and his entire family, Lord, yes, to gather to say goodbye, to honor his life, to support the family during this time of bereavement. Grant from mercy to those who be on the road and to the young. May we ask return mercy, Father, back to the birds' home from which all your children will have come from. Just the same in our family brought in this. Oh, this week, the traveling. The morning, the celebration, all that will take place. Then, Lord, as we have been born, remembering the church in the life of one such as Abraham King. So, Father, we just ask for your blessings throughout the rest of this day. As you are in us, as only if I will be able and willing to do so. We thank you, Father, for your abundant grace and tender mercy. We thank you, Lord, for, for your continued blessings in the use of our lives and in the lives of our loved ones. We just thank you, Father, for your God that does all things except the people. We take Father this moment to lift all the prayer requests up in your throne. Knowing, Father, deep within our spirits, Lord, that your word holds true, that no sin as we have brought our prayer request unto you. <clears throat> we have started to deal with the blessing of you. And while we may not see a prayer is answered immediately, while we may not see our, our prayers being answered, in a day or two, we even know we We know, Lord, in your time, yes, yes. the blessings will flow down. Yes, Lord. In your time, healing will come. In your time, financial shortfalls will be reversed. Yes, in your time, we will be placed upon the tables of those yes. who are hungry. In your time, Lord, bills will be paid. In your time, Lord, those things that are destiny needed by your children shall be provided. Your name shall be exalted. In your time, Father, all things will come to pass. Yes, Lord. And all we will be able to say is thank you, Lord. Have your Father, throughout the midst of the service, manifest your presence once more in the midst of these your people. That we might feel your presence. Anoint us once again, fresh and anew, Lord, from on high with your Holy Spirit. Lord, that we might feel 
the spirit in our lives. As we praise, as we sing, as we do all things to your honor and serve to your glory. But we also recognize the Lord yet not been up ourselves. As much as we we may have water, we have fallen short. We have sinned and come short of your word, Lord. And because of that, Lord, we ask for your forgiveness. We ask for your strength. We ask for your cleansing right now. That we might be able to start off brand new, Lord, in our journey. Now these mundane shows of Bless us, Father. Bless all that we say and all that we do for our beings to the service. When it's all said and done and the benediction has been given, yes, yes. that your name truly might have received all praise, honor, and glory. For in your master's name, we do pray with thanksgiving. We come to the portion of the service where we give back to God, to those who may have tuned in. Uh, we say to you this is your opportunity to be a blessing to thy house. On your screen, you should see the link for both PayPal and Cash App. And we just say to you simply, to bless or to give back to God as He has blessed you. We just pray that you will be a blessing to Lighthouse in your giving, especially on this Christmas season that is now upon us. All things come as a day of Lord. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own, as we give of thee. Amen. As we prepare to hear and listen to our songs of praise, we want you to think about our theme for this Sunday. While you're in the midst of praising God in song, just by a month to meditate on it and just see how it fits in with your spiritual life. And how it fits into the season that had just expired on us giving the way to the Christmas season. What are you thankful for this year? What are you thankful for this year?
Society where most everything is taken for granted. Being thankful is the last thing on the minds of many people. But while many go through the motions of being thankful, the truth of the matter is that being truly thankful is the last thing on their mind. The fact of the matter is that God has blessed us continuously throughout the years. And there is no shortage of things to be thankful for. Amen. We should be bursting at the scene, as it were, with things to be thankful for things to give glory unto God. What are you thankful for this year? Our scripture lesson today speaks of the magnificence of the temple and the buildings around it. About which such quality or quantities of gold and silver were used. Instead of boasting about these great contributions that went to building the temple, David gave thanks unto God. Yes. David, unlike many people of that day, not only appreciated the temple in all of its magnificent beauty. He recognized what many of his countrymen did not. That God was the one that provided the materials to build this magnificent temple. The gold and the silver came from God and not from the so-called personal wealth of others. And for that he was humbled. Yes, he was. 
and gave thanks unto God because he knew that without God's help, none of this would have been possible. But you know the lighthouse and those who are dealing in. We have the same issues in modern day society with all the great engineering feats and even in the design of magnificent buildings and skyscrapers. Yes. <clears throat> People have been quick to take the credit, to bask in the limelight, if you will. of the so-called achievements when they should be thanking God for the knowledge and the foresight that enabled them to achieve such great engineering and architectural successes. But you know, my brothers and sisters, that in this society is all about me, myself, and I. Because we have somehow managed to take God out of the equation. And instead of being thankful for what he's enabled us to do, we assume all the credit. What are you thankful for this year? We must embrace the mindset of David. We could have easily taken credit for the building of the temple and the adjacent buildings and all of this magnificence. But he knew that to do that, would anger God and bring his wrath down upon him. What are you thankful for this year? Amen. God has done something significant in your life or in the life of a loved one this past year. It doesn't matter what great things you have achieved this past year. It was only through the grace of God that you were able to do it. And for that, we must thank God yes, Lord. for his blessings in our lives, for his sustaining grace, for the gifts that he has given us. We may have, have had a loved one who recovered from an illness or injury this year who we thought might not make it through. Thank you. And for that, we should be eternally thankful. We may have had times when we didn't know where our next meal would come from, yes. or how our bills would get paid. But at just the last minute, when all things seemed lost, nowhere else to look, no more options left to us more. Hmm. That God provided from his storehouse in glory. Provide us with those things that we were desperately in need of. And for that we should be thankful. Let us not get big headed and forgive from whom all blessings flow. And although Thanksgiving has given way to the Christmas season, let us not forget to be thankful Thank you, Lord. as we prepare to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the one who gave us the wonderful gift of eternal life. And for that we should be thankful for all the eternity. The bottom line like us is that when we choose to be self-centered 
and neglect to be thankful unto God for the gift and abilities He has given unto us. Then sooner or later, He will bring His right to bear. Sooner or later, we will find problems in the midst of our engineering feats. Yes. Sooner or later, we will find that our financial support has dried up. Sooner or later, problems that will arise, we will find it difficult, almost or almost impossible to fix. Just one thank you, Lord, for all you have done will be enough to avoid all of this and so much more. Let us be begin today <clears throat> be thankful for all things that God has blessed us with and the gifts he has given to each of us. Let us thank, them, thank him in the midst of trials and tribulations. Yes, thank you, Lord. Let us thank him in the midst of setbacks and costs overrun. Yes. Let us thank him through all that we go through and watch the blessings flow down. What are you thankful for this year? Well, I can't speak for you. I know for myself that God has been good to me. God has blessed my family. God has blessed this church. Yes, he has. So I know I have something to be thankful for. What about you? Because if you cannot find one thing to be thankful for, then it's time to take a Deep look inside. What are you thankful? Thankful for today. What are you thankful for? For this past year. What are you thankful for? Throughout the years. What are you thankful for this year? Want to extend the invitation to discipleship. And very quickly, we just want to say to each and every one of you that may be tuning in. That God does not want any to perish. Especially now during this Christmas season that is fast approaching. And as we celebrate the birth of Christ, now will be the next one time. Where you get your spiritual affairs in order. So if you have not given yourself over to Christ, we say to you this morning, come out with your baptism. If you put between churches, you're trying to figure out which way you want to go. We invite you to come to my house. And if you've been away from a very long time, you tune in. We just say to you, come by way of the dedication of the faith that you have. Wherever you do, God just wants you to come. You stand with his arms open to welcome you into his family. All you got to do is come.
of benediction. May our Lord Jesus Christ Himself and God the Father, who loved us and gave us eternal comfort and good hope and grace, comfort your hearts and establish them in every written work and word. Amen.